Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new episode on the channel. In today's video, I want to create the design for the wireframe that we created in one of the last videos. I made this wireframe from a wireframe UI kit. It's a photo app with a dashboard, a user profile and the detail page of such a photo. And I would love to turn this wireframe into an actual design. And I want to show you the process on how you can actually turn a wireframe into an actual design. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumb up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain, an in-person coding and design bootcamp. So inside Sketch, we have our three screens that we are turning into an actual design. And I want to create a new artboard for the screens that we have. And I will position them below the actual screen. That way we can just flip up and check it out. For our design, we need a few things. We need the iPhone 11 artboard and then we need a few uh, symbols that we are going to grab from here. We need to have an iPhone uh, frame and then we just scale this to our artboard size. Then we need another symbol for the uh, home indicator. It's a home indicator on light as you will see in a second. Background color should be about like this in here. And then we have the, how it's called? Status bar. Status bar white, which will be placed up at the top. And of course we need to scale these things that somehow it's not 100% correct okay then let's forget about these things first uh, okay we can keep the home indicator though apparently it's not corrected for the iPhone 11 size how can you actually scale it up status bar white and then I just want to have the correct scaling but of course I see it myself it looks weird can I um, scale it from in here something like that I mean that looks better but still not 100% how I want it anyway let's get back into our actual design uh, we have at the at the top a bar that I would love to create with the header image with the logo and in here we're going to create a new rectangle like that and the rectangle is going to be our I don't know like header bar and I'm going to uh, decrease the opacity of it and then I'm changing the color of the line that we have in here make it a little bit darker and then and then lock the layer otherwise it's always in our in the way inside going to make it outside and then just play a bit with it I'm f I think I will also change the color of the background a bit make it a bit darker like that that way we have a bit more opacity to play with that and in here I would love to place the logo of course this is not the real logo for such an app it's just something that we will use for the purpose of this video and um, you can position it how you want top bar reduce to the size and then in here we have the photos, the photo content. And I'm not 100% sure how we will actually uh, create them. But how about having rounded rectangles sitting in here and displaying the photo content. Something like the size of this one. 
if I duplica duplicate it and drag it to the right, and then we can check a few design uh, measures like that. Boom. We can actually even en enhance the size of it a bit. One hundred and sixty pixels, and then we have one hundred and sixty pixels on this side too. Next up is dragging those photos in here. So let's grab one of these photos and make sure that you use masks. Ignore the underlying mask. Mask this one too, and then you can drag in another photo in here. And uh. Make sure to, to ignore the mask for the iPhone uh, stuff. And that way we can scale these photos. In a way we want to present them. Maybe like that. Of course, we could just also create an, a new border here. Like that. Change the color up a bit. You could make it dark, so have a bit more of a 3D effect. Uh, you could also make it a bit lighter. Um, I think I will choose something like the background color, but a bit brighter. And I want to add a little information down here because you see on the on the wireframe we have information about the graphic or about the author and upload or uh, uploading person below the photo and I would love to have this uh, in our photo too. That's why I will copy this one and then drag down a bit and this time I will select the color of our uh, border and that way I can just use this one right here to add information about uh, the, the, like a title like hiking uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go call it mountain mountain hike, something like that. And then I will select a different font, like Helvetica Neuitz, for example, which is a pretty awesome font, I pretty enjoy it. I mean, I, I know it's old and it's not really used anymore, but it's still a very beautiful font. You can make a duplication and the author of this uh, Upload is Peter Brown. Of course, make sure that your uh, orientation is centered like that. And then, of course, for the, the username, I would decrease the font weight, maybe even the font size, but definitely the opacity. So that way it looks very clean and very useful. Um, we can actually do that for the next photo too. I'm gonna, oops, gonna select the layers, group them up, call them photo one, and then we can drag it to the right side. And we can just drag in the photo like that. Oops, I forgot to use one of the layers in here boom 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 drag them to the right and then we are ready to go so these are our first two posts and it always uh and it already looks a bit like what we created up here next up renaming this to photo two and then I make a copy of these two graphics and I drag them down because I would love to display four, four photos. So opening up those folders and then I'm gonna drag a few more photos in here like these ones, this and that. And here, get rid of this boom then scale up those photos like 
like that. The other photo, drag it in here. Scale it up a bit. And boom, we're ready to go. Next up, last up, another set of photos. Come on, we can do this. It's pretty simple. Drag them down. You can also use your mouse, drag them down. Then replace the photo in here with another one that we haven't used yet. And for example, this one, drag them in here, get rid of the original photo and then uh, position it. Oops, this is that one. That one has to be positioned in here. Like that. Scale it up a bit. Grab the photo on the left side, uh, on the right side. Scale it up, position, perfect. Boom, ready. Of course, uh, generate uh, a different title or just think about one. This is like uh, in the forest. Also by Peter Brown, this one is Mountain View. By Jessica uh, Lisbon. This one is by the brother of Jessica, who's called Mike Lisbon. Lisbon is actually one of the characters from The Mentalist, which is a series that I pretty enjoyed. I don't know if you know that series too. Close those things up. And then I would love to create a tab bar at the bottom of our layout. About like this. The fill should be the same as the one that we have in the at the top. Or maybe let's go with this one, looks also kind of cool. But I want to make sure that the background that we have there is blurry. That's why I will enable a background blur because I always love to work with back background blurs on photo content. Create a big, a bit bigger uh, border here and boom, here we got the background blur. I think we should increase it a little bit to 10 pixels and there is our first screen. Of course, normally you would have to fill in the tab bar down here with a few more um, icons or with a few more buttons. Like usually I would add in something like, I don't know, what would I add in here? A home button. Next up is a profile button if you want to access your own profile. And then a settings button to access the settings of the app. And the last one could be something like explore, for example, or this one could also be the settings button and this one, the explore. So this way you have a few more ways to use the app. I would actually change the color something like this and then of course what you always have to do is to use icons but I want to be a bit more creative here now I will create the the icons for these labels from scratch using only rectangles I will use the icons that I can create by myself using these rectangles here. And I'm gonna add a little more a bit more border radius here. Like that. 
that's this is going to be the home icon and next up we have the profile icon profile icon should be related to a person that's why I will just make a copy of this one then I press alt and scale it up a bit, uh, down a bit to like this and now it almost looks like a person, right? Like that. Next up is the Explore tab. The Explore tab should be a collection of these, like a grid, basically, you know. A collection of these photos in here. That's going to be the Explore tab. And the settings tab, what could we do for the settings tab? Let me think about it. The settings tab could be uh, a twisted rectangle like that. And that is, which is a little bit bigger, maybe like that. But I would love to have a square here, like that, boom, and this one should be about like that. That way we really easily created one of those tab bars down here. And this is the first screen of our app. This is the first screen from a wireframe to the actual design. I'm gonna drag it up so we can compare it a little bit. We have the top bar with the logo. Then we have our photos sitting in here, having such a four by four or two by two grid. Um, we of course can scroll it a bit. And then we have the bottom bar with a few more options to navigate through the app. The next thing in one of the next videos is to create the profile and then the detail photo. And once these screens are ready, I would love to animate them to make a real transition from the dashboard to the profile and then to the detail page or from the dashboard to the detail page. If you enjoyed this and if you would like to see more tutorials from a real design perspective, from a real design process perspective, uh, then hit the thumb up button or subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for your time and we will see us in the next episode. Bye! Dev Mountain offers housing at no extra cost for immersive students and they have a career services team to help with job placements. Dev Mountain would love to hear from you, so be sure to click the link in the video description if you or somebody you know is ready to dive into the UX design program.